done, Betty. I just want to say I just got off work, so I'm probably more tired than I normally do. You know, just always pray for me. I can use prayer. I got so many different issues with my health. I really just need a miracle. It's not just one thing, it's a bunch of different things. Some things I might be more concerned about than really, but I just believe God can hear me. And I thought I've been coughing a lot more because I'm afraid I might be coming down with something. I just want to say, God is good. You know, all the time. Every day, all the time, He is good. He's faithful to us when we're when we not faithful to Him. You know, God loves us no matter what we do. But you know what? Sin can actually keep you from your relationship with God. Jesus died for your sin. So you be, you know, you can, he's that media between you and God. So you have to realize sin is something God hates. God hates sin, but he loves the sinner. So if he has any sin in your heart, in your life, he's going to keep you from making it to heaven. Because in heaven there's no sin. If there's any sin, it'll be going straight down to hell. And God makes it pretty clear about that. He chooses to not sin. <clears throat> God loves us all. He wants what's best for us. He wants us all to make it to heaven. But if we have sin in our, in our lives, if we have sin in our hearts, if we never turn from sin, if we disobedience, you keep sinning. Even if you're a Christian, you keep sinning. And you do disobedience. You really don't obey the Lord. You're still going to end up in hell. Unless if you change, and you can actually change before you, you have to do it when you level on this off. You can't do it when you die. There's no chance when you after death. So you have to make a choice every day where you hide, where you're going. You don't realize you might be so much. You might be so close. You don't know. No one knows. That's why you always have to be ready, because you can be this fine and you don't know what can happen. I tell you one thing, always be ready for the Lord. Always get right with God every day. I tell you one thing, you be ready, because Jesus Christ is coming for you very soon. Maybe sooner than you think. So soon. You, if you, you better have your heart ready for the Lord, because if not, you're going to miss His coming. He's, gonna, it's a, he's coming so soon. We're living in the end days now. This is the end days. We're in the end times, you know. You don't take your right leg being your relationship with God. There's like the Antichrist. You know, after the rapture, to be the Antichrist, you know. Jesus is coming to get the Christians. But I'm saying not just in it. He's going to come to the ones that are ready for him, you know. So, um, you better be ready for the Lord every day. Because you know what happens if you're not. It's so true. Oh. I wonder, and then we better have a heart ready because we... Jesus can come any day, any time, and no one knows the day or hour. He does not know the day or hour, but no man knows the day and hour. Not even, God, not even Jesus, not even the angels. The only one who would know is God. You know, you can be in heaven and never run the Bible to him. What's going to happen? You know, there's going to be so many things going to happen by, before the rapture, you know. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, got a little hot ready.